Melina, welcome back to my channel. I have been loving my time here on booktube and today I thought I would talk about a slightly controversial, not really controversial, but kind of subject and that is book art. So some people have really strong feelings that you should not destroy a book under any circumstance and other people think it's totally fine to, you know, tear out some pages or bend pages and fold them in order to make beautiful art. And honestly, I'm somewhere kind of in the middle. I had a literary themed wedding, which I plan on doing some videos on in the future, but I wanted to tie the whole theme together. So coming up with book artwork or buying book artwork kind of seemed to make sense, but at the same time I felt really bad because I was kind of destroying some books. So I'll put some clips I filmed a little bit of some of the decor that we ended up using for our wedding and kind of let you form your own opinion. So first up I have what I call the Wilson book and that is my new last name and we had it folded for us. I believe I bought it off Etsy. If I can find the link I'll put it down below. But I had it folded off Etsy with our new last name and we had it set up um, down where during cocktail hour. That's what it is. So we had it displayed during cocktail hour as a way for um, you know, guests to sort of get that the literary thing was our theme. Of course, we, we did a whole lot more with our invites and the seating chart and all that stuff, but I'll go more into that in a future video. But this Wilson book, I mean, I think it's adorable. I love it. Um, it's actually The Fist of God by Frederick Forsyth. Oh, and Thomas Edison. There's like a couple, there's like a couple different ones. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a very aesthetically pleasing book, and I believe the uh, the person who created this said that they got the books from yard sales and things like that. So we didn't really pick what book it was, we just got to pick what word, and so we got our new last name. And I think it's beautiful, but at the same time I do feel a little bit sad that this book was destroyed. Um, next up I have this beautiful book sculpture. I'm not actually sure where this is from. This was a gift. Um, my office threw us a little uh, bridal shower, and so they, this was one of the decorations because they knew our theme was literary and I just think it's so beautiful. It's something I would never be able to do myself and we got so many compliments on it and it's just, it's beautiful. I had so much fun with it. But again, that book was essentially destroyed in order to make art. And then finally, we have these paper flowers. Now, we actually made hundreds of these paper flowers. When I say we, I mean my aunts. Um, I have wonderful, wonderful crafty ants who are able to make such beautiful things and that was their contribution. Um, we had little chocolate boxes that were shaped like books filled with M&Ms with our colors and we had a flower on top of each chocolate. Okay, card ran out of memory, but essentially this is what those flowers looked like. We had it, you know, one at each place setting, we had it on the centerpieces, which were other stacks of books. Again, I'll go into that in more detail later. And they were just scattered everywhere. There was hundreds of them. They're beautiful. They're wonderful. I have a whole basket that I'm planning on decorating my Christmas tree with. But again, books were destroyed to make those. And I, I do think they, they scoured yard sales for some of our favorite books and used those. And in a way, it's awesome because they're beautiful and, you know, they're so aesthetically pleasing and they represent books, but at the same time, books were destroyed. So I am very much on the fence if you can't tell. I love books. I love to take care of them properly, but at the same time, I can appreciate their artwork. Now, I'm not sure if I would have bought any of these had I not had an occasion to, but because our wedding was literary themed, it sort of made sense uh, to decorate accordingly. So I would love to hear what you think about this please leave me a comment down below letting me know if you think uh, book artwork is beautiful and something that should be supported or maybe if you're against it and think that books should stay books and uh, you know be treated a little bit more respectfully. So anyway that's what I got for you this week and I will see you guys later and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye!